Now joining us now is leading naturopath and entrepreneur Lani Lopez, who's been a natural health professional for 24 years, and she's here to help us get healthy hair, skin and nails, even in winter. Welcome to the cafe, Lani. Lovely Thank to have you. you here. Thank you very much. Now you've brought some things in today because uh, obviously it's very important what we put into our bodies to keep our skin and our hair and everything glowing. So you just talk me through some of the things that you've brought in for snacks. Well, during the winter we tend to have drier skin, mm. dry hair and really brittle, flaky nails. Flaky nails, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's vital to get the nutrients and in New Zealand soil we don't have enough selenium and zinc. That's an interesting fact. Mm. And those are very important not only for your immune system and to make antioxidants that fight cancer but to keep our hair nourished and our skin really beautiful. And one of these little Brazil nuts can give you enough selenium for your daily needs. Just one? Just one. So you have one Brazil nut a day and you're, you're sorted? That's right. Okay, well, well you that's can just get a multi and that'll give you your zinc as well. And another one that I want to talk about, have you ever seen these? I have. I actually really like that. Seaweed. This is, uh, it's nori seaweed. It's made into a chip, would you believe? Um, but it's baked so it's healthy and it provides a lot of iodine. And when we low in iodine, we can put on weight, we can have thyroid problems and we can just get enough iodine from our kelp and seaweed and eating them in a yummy way and that'll help get those nutrients in to look after our hair, skin and nails and stop it from going brittle. Mm. If you've got low thyroid problems, even the third of your eyebrow can just disappear. So you really want to make sure that you have enough iodine in your diet. That's fascinating, I, I had no idea. I back to iodized salt, Himalayan oh. salt, iodized salt. And the thing about this is that it's actually delicious. It may look, you may be thinking at home, it doesn't look so great, it is absolutely delicious. Okay, so those are some of the things we could be snacking on. You're a really big advocate of soup as well. Well, it's just over winter. Yeah, it's very difficult to have salads and smoothies and most of us tend to put on about five or six kilos over winter. Yeah, so it's the comfort around the middle, just so you know, keep the keep the tracksuit pants up. Yeah, that's right, keep it nice and warm. So um, one of the ways is the secret to losing weight mm -hmm. is having soup before your main meal. And I don't mean cream laden soups. What you want to do is you want to throw your vegetables in, you want to have some good rosemary, maybe some ginger, this is New Zealand ginger, and throw it all in together with some brown rice, salmon or chicken and have it as a soup. It'll actually make you feel full for longer and guaranteed to help you lose weight and shrink your stomach. So that takes about three days. Okay, so secret soups there, or the secret to the healthy skin in the body is soups. And you've also brought in some things that are really good for giving your hair and your skin a glow and a gloss. That's right. So I've got some apple cider vinegar here. If you just have a bit of a whiff of that. So I've, I've been having, a little, somebody said having shots of this in the morning is good for you. It is, it is. Ooh. Okay, that smells like cider. <laughs> smells like cider. I'm quite familiar with that smell. Mm. <laughs> um, what you do is you mix it in, um, that's perfect, like a cup of water, maybe half, yep. half of this of vinegar. I, I actually use one of these bottles here, and you massage it into your head. So it stops dandruff, itchy scalp, it can even help with psoriasis and eczema, get rid of the build up, and it gives you beautiful glossy hair. Oh wow. And if you don't want to smell like a cat coming out of the rain, <laughs> yeah. then you can shampoo and condition your hair afterwards. And not only that, but you can use it topically as well as a face tonic, and as you get older, you get skin tags and pigmentation and if you just and give it a little bit of a rub off. over time it does it great. comes off well you've come in with some great things some sound advice as well thank you so much Lani it's been a pleasure having you here if you want more info go to lanilopez.com